the third Sunday of Advent that we just lived yesterday is called, is known as Gaudete Sunday or Sunday of Joy. The reason being that the closer we get to Christmas, the closer we get to the birth of Christ, the more reason we have to be joyful, to be happy. It is natural, it is only natural, that the person of hope may be a joyful person, just as it is logical that the person without hope, the person who lives in despair, usually is a somber person, is a person that doesn't communicate any joy, any happiness, because doesn't have any joy or any happiness in him or in her. To me, what's important for us to underscore is that our joy, the joy that this week we are celebrating in this spirit of hope, our joy is neither naive nor superficial. For some people, uh, naivete is a source of joy. They pretend that life is rosy, that life is perfect. They kind of deny the hardness of life. They pretend that there are no problems, conflicts, suffering in life, and that's where they base their joy. As adults, we all can see that that's not a good source of real joy. And for some people, they find their joy in superficial things, in shallow things. They basically have fun with a, little, with a number of little things we could say, and then they tell themselves, I'm a joyful person. Our joy, again, is not the one that comes from naivete or the one that comes from superficial things. Our joy doesn't deny that life can be very hard, that there is suffering and that there is pain and that there is conflict in life. Our joy doesn't deny that reality and our joy doesn't stay on the surface of things. Our joy is the joy of the person that knows that even in the midst of very tough and hard situations, there is always a path for hope. Our joy is the joy of the person that looks deep into the others and into oneself. And there, not in the surface, where maybe the worst of us, the worst of us is there, the person can go deep and inside, in the deepest realities of ourselves and of the others, that person is able to find goodness and the presence of the Holy Spirit and the shadow of the person that God dreams for that person to really be. Our joy is the joy of the person, of the Christian, that knows that God doesn't leave us ever, that God is always with us. That's what we are celebrating certainly in this Advent, that Jesus is about to be born once again in the midst of our lives.